What is up guys? We're here at CES 2024 and we're hanging out with Deepcool and we have some of their new all-in-one liquid cooling solutions. The first one here is the Mystique. It's gonna be available in 240 and 360 millimeter versions. Now you can see it here in a system to give you an idea of what it's gonna look like. But let's move over to the actual pump block here. And as you can see, we have this awesome screen here. So this is gonna give you a 2.8 inch IPS display. Using their software, you can display temperatures and all that kind of stuff pretty much like everybody else is doing. But the really cool thing about this is that it's actually gonna have 64 gigabytes of built-in memory. So you can load movies, GIFs, whatever you kind of want on here, and it will just play that on loop. Again, it's really cool that it's actually built in here. Now, as far as the fans go, you will get three, well, for the 360, you will get three of their high flow FT12 SE FDB PWM fans here, no RGB lighting or anything like that. There is a little bit of lighting right here that you can kind of see, but no big RGB lighting. They're really focusing on a sleek, stylish design. Now moving on, we have the flagship AIO cooler from them. This is the Mystique 420 Plus. So big thing, 420 millimeter radiator here which is just massive and looking awesome. Now, if you're wondering, what's this light going on in these fans? These are their potent FT14 FDB PWM fans. Just some really cool lighting in the center. It's just gonna be white, but I think it adds a nice little touch. Now, the really, really cool thing about this is that it's gonna have a larger LCD screen. So this is gonna be a 3.4 inch IPS uh, display here. Again, you can do a bunch of things. They're playing movies, you can show stats, things like that. But another cool thing is that you can take it off to you know, install the block, work on things, whatever you may like. It uses Pogo style connections. So you put it back on and it's instantly gonna turn back on and everything like that, which is going to be really cool. Now, as far as when these are gonna be available, the normal Mystique should be available sometime at the end of Q1 with the 420 plus being available later. Now we have cases and they're showing their CH360, which is a smaller version of their already released CH560. So this is gonna support micro ATX motherboards. You can see we have a very high airflow design with the fans in the front. In this case, will come with two 140 millimeter ARGB fans. Of course, we have a tempered glass side panel and Looking inside, I really like, well, before we look inside, one thing I like is how they kind of cut it off. So you have ventilation at the bottom and then the smaller tempered glass side panel. You can see inside that we do have support for very large graphics cards, which is awesome. Now, as far as colors, you're gonna get black and white, which is great, but also we have a digital version. Now this digital version, the big change of course, is you have the digital display, which is gonna go ahead and show you system stats. Now we don't have pricing on these just yet, but they will be available sometime in Q1. Moving on to smaller cases, we have the CH160. We have the white version here. It's gonna be available in black as well. And as you can see, super small case, and this is gonna support mini ITX motherboards. Now you will see this massive CPU cooler inside. This is actually Deepcool's Assassin 4, and that's about, I think, a 165 millimeter air cooler. So lots of room if you wanted to do an air-cooled build. You do see our graphics card down there. We have support for a three-slot, 305 millimeter graphics card. So that is quite a lot of support for a small case. And then you see our SFX power supply back there. So this will support SFX and SFX L power supplies. And a cool thing about the normal version of the case is that it's gonna come with a handle. So you can go ahead and pick it up and look, high airflow, high airflow, high airflow on the bottom as well. So lots of high airflow. Now they will have a CH160 digital. And the cool thing about the digital here is that on the bottom, we have this awesome readout of all of our system stats in real time, which is gonna be awesome if you're somebody who likes to see your system stats. Now the CX160 digital and CH160, both of these will be available sometime in Q1. Finally, we have air coolers and we have the new Assassin 4S. You can see this looks very much like the original Assassin 4. That was one of our favorite air coolers of 2023. 
and the S is means that it's a little bit smaller. So we actually don't have a front fan, but Deepcool is telling us that it's gonna be the same performance as the Assassin 4, and how are they able to do that? Well, they have a new FT series fan here, and this is how easy it is to take this fan out as well, but you can see our new FT series fan in there. That's gonna give you better performance, so you don't need that front fan, and how easy is that to put back on here? Great design on these. If we can get close on this side over here and look at the front of that heat sink here, you can see that awesome design. One of our favorite things about deep cool coolers is how awesome they look. Now, as you can see, white and black here. So depending on your build, you can pick which one you like. Now, these will be less expensive than the original Assassin 4. Expect them to come sometime in Q1. So that is it for Deepcool at CES 2024. I would say this is one of the best companies we visited, really cool products. Let us know what you think in the comments.